Hello everybody, this is Matthew Lavis with Vitech, Visual Innovative Technology, and as you can tell, we are uh, Microsoft Dynamics Online CRM sellers, so if you guys are interested in having a better small business presence and continuity with your customers, please hit us up. Um, so today is going to be something that I thought would be uh, so fitting for those who are into uh, a scenario. So here's the scenario. It's a how to use a Cat 5e cable with a telephone line RJ11 jack so this is a 4 pin using a Cat 5e keystone jack a regular one that would go inside of a wall socket I bring this up because the scenario is a customer has uh, old Cat 3 cable inside the office and some of it's terminated some of it's not they wanted to uh, move uh, their internet from one end of the building to the other end of the building and then they want a telephone as well as Ethernet in there. Cat 3 was super unreliable, it kept dropping obviously so I was like well, yeah we're not gonna do this so we're gonna drop some Cat 5 cable into the walls and terminate there. Well um, I was checking online and here's the situation this is a super helpful. So it's an RJ collect, uh, connection using uh, Cat5e cable. The wire diagram is perfect when you're doing RJ11 to RJ11. However, what if you want to do RJ11 to a Cat5e keystone jack such as this? So one end right there, the other end goes into your oops, to your keystone jack. Now, uh, as you can see in the diagram, we found out that uh, number two is orange white then three is blue four is white blue and five is solid orange so those four cables there and I'll show you how uh, that looks so basically um, I just wanted to test it out and really online there was all these other things uh, set up such as RJ using RJ11 keystone jacks uh, and using this cable, which is cool, but that doesn't really help me if I want to use a Cat5e keystone jack. So we're going to show you how to wire this up from one end to the other end. So let's do that. So we're going to take our end of our Cat5e cable. We'll take your wire cutters. Uh, this has both RJ11 or P6 and 8P, or 6P and 8P uh, connections on either side. So. Uh, one's RJ45, one's RJ11, but anyways, for our purposes, we're going to strip the wire, so you're going to take the end, go ahead and twirl it around, get a good connection here, bam, perfect on its first try. So, uh, good, good rule of thumb here is to go ahead and use, don't, just pull apart what we're not going to use, which is, we're not using green. So we're going to put green away. We're not going to use uh, brown, so let's pull brown away. We are going to use orange and blue only for our cable. So we got orange and blue. Um, so let's go ahead and get that going. Just in case. So I'm basically just ripping off the edges. And now we have a nice long strand this time to work with. And you'll be able to see here, oops, the focusing on this camera is horrible. Okay, so basically, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. So this is orange right here. Um, this pair is green. We don't want green, so we're going to push it down. This pair is uh, brown. We don't want brown. So now, if you look at my setup here, we have... Um, green okay so if you look at our setting here we have only I matted down the other sides uh, brown and green I have blue and orange only so we're just going to unstrand this a little bit here. 
I try to do this with only one hand, so please bear with me until they're all folded out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and you'll see what I'm, the finished project. Okay, so we have straight wires here. Um, and here's the, uh, the, the way that they go. So this is, uh, it goes white, orange, and then we need a solid blue. So this goes over here. Okay. Then we're going to use a light blue for our next sequence. Oof. This is so hard. So we got light, white and orange, solid blue, white and blue, and then orange on the very end. And we're 45, uh, sorry, RJ11 for pin, and we're going to stick it on the end of these guys right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if this gives you a better handle of it, it looks we got white, orange on the left, solid blue, and uh, white, blue, and then a solid orange. And we're going to go ahead and put that cable inside of this thing right here. If you're looking at this, I never wire like this. I always get it close as I can to the to the sheath here, this gray part. But uh, for this purposes, I'm just showing you what it looks like. So, again, white, orange, solid blue, white, blue, and solid orange on the far right corner. And that's with the clip facing down towards the ground. You want to do that on both ends if you're going to do the both. For right now, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to crimp it like this. So once we have this on top, we're going to crimp it using our um, handy dandy crimper tool. And let's see if I can get this in there for you guys. So right there, it's going to go in. Sorry, it's just really hard to do today because I don't have my camera person. It's kind of a late night and I just decided, hey, you know, I should share something that I thought of. So go ahead and crimp. Alright, so it's crimped. It made solid connections down across. So this is nice and snug. Okay, so now that we have that, we need another end to connect to the arch of termination. So we'll cut one end of the line. And there we go. I'll put the cable back in and use it for a later time. Now we're going to use our Cat5e Ethernet jack. And take, oops, I was going to take this back, but never mind. Because I use Monoprice. Check it out, monoprice.com. I do not partner with them or sell or resell or anything like that. I just love the product, and if I was starting out, I wish I heard from them because. Man, oh man, are they a great service, online service for buying very, very high-end quality stuff for a fraction of the cost. Um, so, yeah, thought I should let everybody know because what a great resource, right? Okay, so how this baby works is you're going to do the same thing. Take your end, strip the wire. I always try to give enough room so I can actually work with the wire. Uh... I did slice it a little bit on top, so I may have to cut it, but we'll see. So again, same rule of thumb. We are not using green. We are not using uh, brown. So let's put these down on the bottom, like so. Okay. Oh, man. I do not know why. It does not want to focus when I have something else in the background. Anyways. I'll take my scissors so I don't have to play with this little white cord. I mean the... Okay, cool. So now, we just have the same colors we had on the opposite end, right here. Okay? What we're going to do is this. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to take our <coughs> plug here, okay? Our RJ Cat5 RJ45 Cat5e plug. We're going to use only those cords I was telling you about. So let's go ahead and unstraighten these ones, <coughs> make them make them nice and everything, nice and straight as possible. Okay, cool. So here's how this works. You're going to use the the we're going to do so what I thought of was using uh, T56A 
T568A as our standard, okay? So, um, in this case, 3 is going to be... All blues are going to be on this side. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. All blues are going to be on that side, and our two oranges are going to be on the bottom. They're going to match up to these colors, okay? So it's going to be solid blue on four, white blue on five, three is going to be orange and white, and six is going to be solid orange. So if we take it from this standpoint, we're going to go ahead and measure these up here. So we have solid blue right here. Just get it a little snug. I'll use my punch down tool in just a second. We're going to use blue white, like so. We're going to use <clears throat> three on white orange, and we're going to use solid orange on six. Okay. There you go. That's how it should look. Now, if I have my punch down tool, okay, you may or may have not seen a punch down tool before. That's okay. Don't be afraid of it. It's your best friend when you're a net guy, or guy, or a telecommunications guy. Okay. So you're just gonna take the cramp, uh, the punch down tool. You know, and punch. Okay, it's going to cut off the ends, and punch. Okay, and then, I may have to redo that one, because it didn't cut. There we go. Ow. Ow! Don't worry, I'm really good at this, but it happens to be on a glass, on my glass desk, so I would never suggest doing that on your glass desk. Please don't do that. Um, and, and a punch down. And a punch down here too. And it's hard to get a good angle. There we go. So you saw that. That's how a good punch down looks like. Um, I did the bad the other way. So there you go. Now this will work. We'll test this out by taking our handy dandy network cable tester Klein tools uh, tone generator. So we'll plug it in at the bottom. And then we'll plug this cable into a telephone line at the top here. So I'm going to go find a telephone line real quick. I'm going to take my uh, phone off, of course, so that's always nice. Um, I think it's at night. Nobody should be calling me this late anyways. So, <clears throat> not that it's late, but, you, you know. You know what I mean. Yay! So this is perfectly. Uh, I'll show you it too right now. I'll hook it up to the phone line um, to my t in my office. So we pass. It's open. It's perfect. That's cool. Plugs right in. Works like a charm. Used it today as a real life example. Thought I would share with you what I found, and that is blue on RJ45 is equal to green in the telephone world. Blue, white on RJ45 is equal to red, and orange on RJ45 is equal to black, and orange, white on RJ45 is equal to yellow. So those of you that are telecommunications people, um, that is one way I was able to solve this little conundrum, which was how to make a RJ11 work in a Cat 5e jack. Thank you for viewing. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, or leave a comment.